Hello and welcome to our video guide on citing journal articles in MLA style from the Los Angeles Southwest College Library. Let's start by taking a closer look at this journal article from one of our library databases. To create citations in MLA style, which will go on the works cited page of your research paper, you need to identify certain elements from the source. Start by identifying the author or authors of the work then identify the title of the work, and in the case of a magazine or a journal article, then this is the title of the article. Next, identify the title of the container for this source. The container refers to the title of the magazine or the title of the journal where the article was published. Next, we need to identify the relevant publication details, and this depends on the type of publication. For journals and for magazines that provide this information, list the volume and issue number, then the publication date and page numbers. For articles that we find in library databases, we also need to identify the title of the database. Next, we need to identify the Digital Object Identifier, or the DOI, if the article has one. If the article does not include a DOI, then we need to locate the permanent link to this article inside this particular database. If some of these elements can't be found in the article, then you can use the citation tools to get this information. Just use with caution. Click on the Cite tool, scroll down to the appropriate citation, and in this case is MLA, just use with caution because the automatic generated citations may have some formatting errors, so it is always a good idea to confirm this information right from the source. After we have identified all of the elements that we need for our citation, it is time to create it in the Works Cited list. I am going to open up my document. This document has already been formatted according to MLA style. Now I am ready to start typing in my citation. If the article or the source has one author, then you will start the citation with the last name of the author and then the first name. In this example, this article has three or more authors. So in this case, we're going to list the first author's last name, comma, space, then list the first name, comma, space, then type in ET space AL period space. Instead of listing the multiple authors, for this source, we're only going to list the first author and then we're going to refer to the other authors as et al. Et al means and others in Latin. We're going to type the next element, which is the title of the article. This is going to be inside double quotes. So I'm going to open up double quotation marks. Next, I'm going to type the full title of the article and I'm going to follow title capitalization rules, period. Close the quotation marks, space. Next, I am going to enter the title of the journal in italics, and I'm also going to follow proper title capitalization rules. Comma, space, then type VOL, short for volume, period, space, type the number, comma, space, then type NO, short for issue number, period, space, then type the issue number, comma, space. Next, I'm going to type the date of publication. I will abbreviate the months, period, space, and then the year, comma, space. Then I'm going to type PP, period, space. PP stands for page range or pages. Then I'm going to type in the page range, period, space. Next, I am going to enter in italics the title of the database. For EBSCO databases, EBSCO host as the title is acceptable. Remember to italicize it. Comma, space. And next, we're going to enter the DOI, colon. Then I'm going to go back into the databases citation tool so that I can copy the DOI. Right click, click on copy then go back to my paper, then I'm going to right click and select the middle option for merge for formatting, 
Next, I'm going to make sure that there's an, a period at the end. I still need to change the settings and use hanging indentation. So I'm going to highlight my entire citation. Under the Home tab, I'm going to go to the Paragraph section. I'm going to click on the Paragraph Settings option. Then under Indentation, I'm going to select Hanging under the Special menu. Under Spacing, I'm going to make sure that zero points is set to before and after and make sure that line spacing is still set to double and that the don't add space between paragraphs or the same style box is checked. Then click on OK. And that is how you set up citations for journals or magazines. After completing the citation, remember to go back into the body of your essay and make sure that you have done the in-text citation properly. You may need to go back and access the article again and locate the idea or the concept or the fact that you would like to incorporate into your essay. Once you find that idea again, be sure that you capture the page number. You're going to need that for your in-text citation. For example, here is a paraphrase that's coming from that article. And here is the in-text citation. For sources that have three or more authors, in the in-text citation, you will only need to list the first author's last name, then space, ET space, AL period, space, and then the page number where this idea came from. If you need more information or examples on citations, go to the library's page. Start from the college's homepage, which is lasc.edu, scroll down, click on library, scroll down from the landing page, then click on library home from the left navigation menu. Once you're inside the library's pages, you can always find citation information by clicking on the citation link from the top navigation bar. Then under the citation box, click on MLA citation style, Look at the guidelines and the examples. If you need assistance with in-text citation, click on the in-text citation tab, then click on the MLA in-text citation link, and then follow the examples and the guidelines. Reach out to one of the librarians if you have any further questions or if you need assistance. Thank you for watching our video.